Hello everyone. Today I will tell you a difference between a normal layer and a smart layer. I have selected those images for this tutorial. The both images are same. The car one and the copy of this car one. In the first image I will put the effects on the normal layer and on this dashboard I will put the effects on the smart layer. Let's start work on it. Go to the layers panel. Make a duplicate of this layer and try to put some effects on it. For example, I go to the filter, I go to the stylize, I put the oil paint effects over there. Suppose that. Again, I go back to the filters, I go to the sharp, I make it unsharp mask. Click OK. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I did a mistake here. I want to go back. I do not have a choice. I want to increase the value in the paint options. I do not have a choice to do so. Uh, only choice is to undo the object. That's it. Because you do not see any effects over there. All effects are going in, within this layer and those are finalized. I only have a choice to put Ctrl Z or to create another duplicate layer and restart my work so this is not a better choice so now let me tell you that how it works on the smart layer duplicate of this layer go to the layer drop down convert your object to smart object so it's called a smart layer now let me rename it to smart layer or the smart object. I am going to put the same effects on the go to the filter, go to the stylize, oil paint. Same values I am keeping. I am going to click OK. Now again see what happened over here. A uh, one more smart filter is created with the oil paint effects. Here can you see something like this? No there is nothing like this. Again go back to this layer. I'm going to put one more effects over there. For example, sharp unsharp mask. Let's increase or decrease the value of the unsharp mask. Click OK. There are two effects I put. See this hierarchy is coming over there under small filters. Whatever effect I'm going to put, it will be over there. Let's put one more effect over here. Blur, surface blur. Let me put one radial and one threshold. Okay, two threshold. Okay, see this surface blur, unsharp mask, oil paint. Let's going to add the blur effects over here too. Click OK. Nothing, no hierarchy is over there. No history is creating in that one. Why? Because this is the normal layer. Each time, if I don't like the effects, I have to recreate it or I have to press Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo the object. Let's go to this smart layer one. Okay, now I have a choice to change the oil effects. Click OK. Just double click, just double click on this oil pane. Just click OK if you get any dialog box and see those all values I have set over there. I don't need the shine at this stage. Might be little shine. Digital effects little bit, cleanness more, stylize less, scale more. Okay, see this? What happened on this one? If I don't need the paint effects or the oil paint effects, just disable this layer. Okay, now I thought I don't need the surface blur. Just disable this layer. I don't need this unsharp mask. Disable this layer. I only want to keep the oil paint one. See this how easy it is to work on the smart objects. I always recommend to work on the smart layers and go through this one. Nothing is there. I do not have a choice to undo or if I have to do undo, I have to do couple of time undos because the first step was the oil paint. I want to make change the oil paint one. How many times I have to undo and how many times I have to repeat to add the um, uh, sharpness and the blur. So here the each step is recorded over here and easily you can enable, disable or change the value 
of the effects you already have put there. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please do not forget to like and also do not forget to subscribe for my upcoming videos.